a lot of people reach out to Cop Block and share a story, something that happened to them recently about when their rights got violated by a police employee and they ask what to do. And a story I like to tell people that I think was handled really well involved my buddy Derek J. Freeman. It happened in Keene, New Hampshire. So Derek was riding his bicycle and a police employee by the name of Fenton P. Moore drove up beside him. He had his lights and sirens on and Derek didn't know what was going on. Derek was just coming back to where he lived and was a couple blocks away. And the police employee uh, was yelling at him and proceeded to uh, drive his cruiser towards Derek on his bicycle. Derek was on the sidewalk at this time. Uh, Fenton P. Moore actually put his asp through the spokes in Derek's wheel and broke some of them, causing Derek to fall on the ground. But I was at the property that Derek was heading towards, and we all immediately ran out of the property, cameras in hand, and uh, to try to assess the situation, try to defuse it and help our friend. The raw video was put up on a couple of different YouTube channels. Posts went out on a couple different sites. A few hours later, later that evening, went to the cul-de-sac where Fenton P. Moore lived, and we asked his wife, uh, who was outside of her house at the time, you know, if she knew Fenton P. Moore and if she would care to talk with us. And she quickly sped back into her house and refused to talk with us. And myself and a small group of friends proceeded to sing Free Derek J to the tune of Sweet Caroline. Peace on earth, peace to all. Free Derek J. And as a few more songs, we thought that was pretty uh, non-violent way to show that we weren't supportive of what happened. And then myself and another friend went door to door to Fenton's neighbors and uh, some of them had been peering out of their windows what was going on and we proceeded to t tell them, you know, just a real short statement. We said, hey, I don't want to take much of your time. I'm sure you're busy, but the reason we're out here is because your neighbor, Fenton P. Moore, assaulted our friend Derek J. Freeman today and we had already written the, a URL to where these posts and the videos were online. We provided that to the homeowner and we said, if you have a moment, I encourage you to check this out and, and see and think for yourself. Um, I said, I know if I live next to someone who was aggressive, I'd want to know. And we thank the people for their time. And, and uh, we did see one homeowner right away go online and, and start checking it out for themselves. And the primary purpose of informing his neighbors of his actions was simply reputation and transparency so that, that his neighbors were aware that there, that fit to be more, at least in that moment, wasn't an upstanding person, that he did not exhibit character traits that were worthy of mimicking, and that in fact he did the opposite, and that, you know, they may feel like they want to ostracize him or distance themselves from him, maybe not invite him to their barbecue, maybe second guess if they ask him to watch their house when they're gone, or things like that, or if maybe if they're good friends with him, maybe they even bring it up in conversation, and fit to be more than knows and has to try to explain himself and uh, be more accountable for his actions. If this sort of practice became more common, I think it would be a great uh, step towards uh, the realization of the fact that badges don't grant extra rights, and it would be a strong deterrent for police employees to victimize people.